Here they come, Daisy Girl Scouts, full of five and six-year-old energy, curiosity, and eager to know everything. What can an ordinary adult hope to do with all that lively enthusiasm? And nurture each girl's unique needs and interests? A big responsibility, yes, but let's visit a typical Daisy Girl Scout meeting. Maybe you and Miss Joyce have more in common than you think. At first, I was a little overwhelmed by the prospect of becoming a Daisy Girl Scout leader. I imagined having all these little five-year-olds running wild and pulling me in a million different directions at once. But it hasn't been like that at all. Certainly, they have a lot of energy, but they also have an enormous desire to learn and try new things. When you give them a task, they catch on very quickly, and they're just so adorable. It's really fun to be with them. The center of Daisy Girl Scout life is the meeting, getting together to do stuff. But a structured format will help make things go a lot more smoothly for everyone. Hello. I need you girls to go over to Leah and see what jobs you have to do. How long? As the girls arrive, encourage them to check the caper chart, a handy Girl Scout way that tells each girl what tasks she'll be responsible for at each meeting. Rotate the responsibilities so that everyone gets to do different things. Who has ceremonies? Who's doing ceremonies? I think that might be you, Jasmine. Do you no. know what you have to do? No, I'm, I'm doing supplies. Oh, okay. All right. Do you know what you have to do for that? That's right. Okay. But we're going to go and sit down, and we're going to sit down and do an activity. Okay? All right? Not everyone will arrive at the same time. So a pre-meeting activity helps girls settle down and gives them something to do while waiting. Choose an activity girls can do by themselves or with minimal supervision. A simple art project or game. Or you might play music for the girls to sing or dance to. Make it fun. Keep it simple. Hi, how are you? The startup activity also gives you a chance to greet each girl as she comes in and to talk with her parent or caregiver if you need to. Each girl has a unique personality, and I find that being able to connect with them one-on-one -on -one helps me get a better sense of what they're like and what their needs and interests are. For all their unique individuality, girls of this age level share some basic characteristics. Understanding these developmental markers will help you know what to expect from your girls. Her budding independence makes a Daisy Girl Scout curious and eager to explore her world and do things herself but she also wants to please adults and craves their approval. Miss Joyce, look at my picture. Oh, let me see. Oh, how beautiful. The Daisy Girl Scout also likes to work in pairs or small groups and is capable of cooperation and compromise. I need that crayon. Well, I can use another crayon while you're using it. Okay. She can also be very creative in solving problems and in her use of language. Oh, that must be a tornado seashell. A tornado seashell, okay. That's a new going name. To the beach. Mm. Do you like going to the beach? Yeah. Physically, a five or six year old is still developing eye hand coordination and fine motor skills. And for all her boundless energy, if an activity goes on too long, she may lose interest. Some girls have a better attention span than others, and some will finish activities sooner. So you want to watch for that and be ready for it. You could ask the girl if she wants to help you clean up or look at a picture book or even start another picture if there's time. The main thing is always have something up your sleeve. Jennifer, are you bored? You are bored? Well, that's okay because you know what? We're going to clean up right now and then we're going to start our meeting in just a few minutes. Okay? Okay, girls, start to clean up. Okay. Gather enjoy. your stuff together. Clean up. Transitions can be tough at this age. Letting girls know when it's almost time to move on definitely helps them shift gears more gracefully. I'm a Daisy Girl Scout. Take a look at me. I'm a Daisy Girl Scout. Proud as I can be. I'm happy. A formal opening ceremony not only establishes a routine that focuses the girls' attention on the meeting, it also promotes feelings of unity and pride. Hey, 
Check out your Daisy Girl Scout Leader's Guide and Ceremonies in Girl Scouting for opening and closing ceremony ideas. Most Daisy Girl Scouts love to wear the uniform. It enhances their sense of belonging, but it is not required. Girl Scouting is open to all girls who make the Girl Scout promise and agree to live by the Girl Scout law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Jennifer, now that you know the promise so well, I'm going to give you the Promise Center. Once your girls have learned the Girl Scout Promise, they may receive the Girl Scout Promise Center. Each learning pedal on the Promise Center indicates that a girl has an age-appropriate understanding of a concept in the Girl Scout law. Let's talk about what it means to be friendly. Sharing time is for talking about girls' interests, their feelings, and daily experiences. A good time to discuss living the Girl Scout law. Who knows some friendly things that you can do or say? Yes. Mm. Uh, um, share with other people. Share with people. Uh, share your cake. Share your cake? You have some cake with you? No. <laughs> okay. What would you like to say, Jennifer? Thank you with friends. Mm -hmm. You stay with your friend? All the time. Okay. Like if you don't have anything to eat or you don't have enough, you can split it in half. Oh, that would be a very nice thing to do. When you and your girls decide they can recognize the connection between their behavior and the Girl Scout law, a learning pedal is earned. I was surprised at how well my Daisy Girl Scouts were able to grasp these concepts. I have to keep reminding myself that they are often more capable than I might think. Recognizing what your girls are capable of and increasing their responsibility in decision making is a major part of being a Girl Scout leader. And the Daisy Girl Scout Circle is a democratic form of troop government that encourages girls to make decisions and work together with adults. Now we need to talk about next month, our calendar. We need to plan some special activities. So any ideas of what we can do? We could go to the zoo. OK, that's a good idea. Okay. What, Caitlin? Uh, we could go to the aquarium. Go to the aquarium? What do you think, Skye? We can go to the movie star. Go on a hike. Go to the movies or go on a hike, okay. By asking questions and encouraging group discussion, you help girls learn to make those difficult decisions. All right, so now we have all these ideas, but we have to think about our money. Our troop doesn't have a whole lot of money in our That's treasury. That's why I said so. Okay. Sometimes so girls will suggest activities that are not possible. As a leader, you can guide them to acceptable alternatives. In this instance, Daisy Girl Scouts cannot handle money. And how many like the idea of having a drive where we collect toys and clothes for people? Mm, like a hammy down. Okay, all right. I it's think like the, a hammy down. Yeah, okay. yeah. How about the play? Oh, we didn't vote on the play. How about the play? How many would like to put on a play? Such spontaneous decision making can only work with some solid advanced planning on your part. Brainstorm some ideas of your own before the meeting. Look into a recipe book and then they can bring it home to their parents. That'd be great. Yeah. You want to do oatmeal cookies? Excellent right. idea. Right. They'll like right. that. And, and it doesn't matter if you make the cookies or not. We get what as long as they're cooking.